Everybody. Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. So today I decided to bring this trending gist online here on TikTok. So on TikTok, there is this um mother and daughter that they are kind of they are popular on TikTok. They have almost they have more than 200,000 followers on TikTok, and their content is just basically eating a daily short daily vlog and everything so at this money we need to run about it with a lot of delicious meat spices so i'm asking us why you usually do this is because of future reference i hope god make it happen uh, for people to be contented with what they have because <laughs> and they always receive gifts like their fans are always gifting them our journey to collect our fan gifts so we were eating when they call us oh, they are called mother their tiktok username is mother and daughter the girl is about 21 years or so i think she's about 21 years and she's called onimu her mom calls her onimu on the channel on their page on tiktok why she calls her mother momo so basically the daughter is called onimo and the mother momo and their channel is named their page on tiktok is named mother and daughter their content is just like eating especially of tete and kukuru that is what they that is what they are known for people either call them um onimo and momo or F4 Tete and Kukuru because they eat that a lot on their channel for dinner, breakfast, lunch. They are always eating of Tete and their Kukuru. So I will just give you guys a clip for you to watch. Follow us, it's our money meal, Kukuru and F4 Tete. Let's go. <laughs> enough of the introduction let's get into the main gist so, so this is it during their recent life we, we all know jennifer also known as funke akindele the popular actress, Nollywood actress, she also acts a um, Yoruba movie. See, a majority of us, yeah, I believe we know Funke Akindele, also known as Jennifer. She's, uh, she's a popular actress, Nollywood actress. She produces movie. She acts like she has a lot of interesting movie popular movies she has directed acted and everything so she went on the live she joins their life right jennifer joins their life or let me use a rename funke funke and kindele she joins their life and she brought a suggestion she was like oh mommy um onimu should go to school I think she has been watching them. Maybe she has been following their page. So she said, Mommy, I think I think uh, Onimu should go to school. She needs education. She's good in telling stories. I can see that she's good in telling stories. So I think she needs education. It might not be physical, yeah. It might not be physical, but she needs to go to school. She needs education, saying that they will pray for her, they will fast for her. She just needs to go to school. Because in case you all don't know, this girl, Onimu, she doesn't know how to speak good English. Her English is just some, uh, it's, 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 it's just some, uh, she doesn't know how to speak good English, right? So Funke was just making suggestions, saying oh, that she would sponsor her education that she should go to school she is going to sponsor her uh, education that after school she can go into acting and everything 
and she also gave she also used herself as an example she said well she, she said she went to school right she knows how to speak english she knows how to speak yoruba she studied Igbo in school and right now she's studying french because she wants to be more exposed and everything i'm just going to show you guys a short video of her talking to onimu and her mother on life onimu goes to school it will help her become a better actress yes we know she will become a very she'll be a better filmmaker i see onimu likes to write stories i see all yes, the stories. Ma. you understand i yes. see how you act i see all the way you do things it's very beautiful yeah thank it's you very, very beautiful i like your stories but you need education mommy a john to your long money moon has to go to school but she doesn't have to go physically let's be praying yeah. and be fasting mm -hmm. that god almighty should protect and guide her she will not mm -hmm. fail in jesus name and she will not mm -hmm. die mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. us allow her get an education she must speak english better look at me now i have a talent i can speak yoruba tomorrow i can speak Igbo. i i, I did Igbo in school now i'm che I'm, I'm studying french because i want to i want to be able to mingle with people in, in french uh, francophone countries so that i can speak french too i'm, I'm in dubai right now on holiday i want to learn many languages oh yeah you mommy me no fair call one language you wish she me no fair joy better who fair job by law i want to be so guys that is it but i don't know if i should say it, fortunately or unfortunately these people rejected funke's offer they rejected her offer of sponsoring this girl onimu to school saying that the holy spirit said onimu should not go to school this is why they have been trending online she said um onimu and her mother said the holy spirit ministered to them that onimu should not go to school so she's not going to go to school this is why they have been trending online and it did not just end there after the live video they went on their page yeah they made a video and they posted it they made a video and they posted it on their page which got more people talking and they trended even more i don't know why why they did that video okay maybe they are just trying to like explain themselves because even before that video they went on live and they were explaining the mother the mother was explaining saying that oh the holy spirit minister to a shy that she should not go to school that she might uh, she might spy we all know the meaning of spy she might spy if she goes to school there are a lot of good and bad things out there this that yada 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 and everything then they also made a video and posted it on their page to explain what they mean by the holy spirit said she should not go to school she even said um, even the school the people that established the school it is god that created the people and god also created her uh, that uh, solomon did not go to school but yet is the wisest man on earth and everything i'm just going to leave i'm just going to play the video for you all to watch hi guys hi. so the holy spirit said i should not go to school yeah and i did not go yeah i obeyed the holy spirit commandment no though firstly i'm the one that the holy spirit said she not go then i told my mom and my mom accepted and i did not go yeah. secondly and oh, school is not um the main reason why i accept and i believe in god school is not heaven school is consists of good and bad many people they pine for school so i don't know what god is trying to protect me from and god that creates the school is the one that is talking to me god that created the person that creates school that established school anyway is the one that creates me so that is why and i i am so happy that i believe god because it's not easy to believe god 
and thirdly yeah thirdly i'm so happy for those people that are watching me that haven't finished their school please if you are at home and you haven't and you haven't finished your school please stand up you have a beautiful talent raise your talent try to build it and then come to internet thank god the world is free now you can just bring out what you have if you want to continue to go to school it's your like it's a good thing uh, if, if you don't want to go it's your wish but make sure that don't think that it is the end because you don't have certificate okay it is not the end make sure the kingdom of god is the end have the kingdom of god go to how you will study your talent talent is i did not condemn school or your language if you want to choose to know how to do english better but just make sure that your your talent you build it from you from omakekele to see that I am very happy that you were on the line with us this afternoon. Yeah. The Lord we bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The most happiness we are having myself and my child is we are bold in the Holy Spirit. We are bold to say Holy Spirit directed us, not the devil. No. Not to say the I don't say it. No. It is the Holy Spirit. And we are proclaiming Holy Spirit throughout the world. Yeah. That is the the, the number one the number point one and we are happy yes. about all this that the rumor that is going around the world the only thing i want to add on now is that i want to make clear to you people because you may not be online with us today in the afternoon i have cleared that is that my child is not particularly saying your bad language is your bad language that must be included and must be uh, must yeah, be must be sure, uh, no what she's trying to say, I've, I've tried to analyze it. In life, but she if you are not online, you are not online, try to listen. Yeah. About language, yeah. Nigeria has three languages. Yeah. And in Yoruba now, we have original Yoruba. Yeah. Hausa, they have different dialects or languages there. Yeah. And they have originals in Hausa, they speak that everyone there can even share. Yeah. The same thing in Igbo land. They have original Igbo that every one of them can hear in yeah. English. Yes. So this is what we are saying that why can't the government if they have, if they have time for us masses? Yes. I mean I, I I miss civilians if they have time for us. Yes. Why can't they include original Yoruba? Original house? Yes. Original Igbo. Yes. My child has just take, has just take, uh, taken Yoruba as an example. Why can't they take one 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 original 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 in the three ethnics and include it as they have make it important for us to study English, for them to make it important on that three languages. In the syllabus that we use in the whole Nigeria, everywhere we must learn Igbo, in the Yoruba, and Hausa together with English. If these are the even only four subjects we learn in the school, we teach in the school, we will be able to understand. If science is taught in Yoruba, people that come from Yoruba will understand more. Hausa, if it is taught in Hausa, people from Hausa will understand more better. The teacher will not be, be, be okay. That is that about that. I think you understand that. Yes. Uh -huh. Then about my Holy Spirit, my dear. Yeah. We are not fearing people. We fear the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that the Jesus that Jesus said we give us everything. Yeah. Everything we in the help us. He said, let we show. We should uh, seek for the kingdom of God, obey his commandments, then he will send Holy Spirit to us that will teach us everything. Nobody taught Solomon. Solomon was he, he, even he still the, the, the wisest on earth. On earth. No one has met his wiseness, and no one, no one will ever of uh, power him yes in wisdom yes. that is what the, uh, god said mm -hmm. so do not misquote us so for you that are saying uh funke academic came to this it came to our life today we really appreciate her and the lord will continue to bless amen he promised that he she we assist my child yes. and i told her my child will not go out to school she said she will assist her in home training which we did not go against yes you advised us about three days ago on 
in our life, somebody advised us that somebody will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yeah, he said, Why can't my dear my dear daughter be training at home that are home uh, training online? And which Funke Academy has has pushed to us. So and how and, and the training doesn't guarantee anything. Yes. It's just guarantee my my spoken English. It's not going out to anywhere. I, I the Holy Spirit says she must not go out to school. All those polluted schools. Yes. And I obey. So that is just it about that. Yeah. The Lord will bless so you for coming. Make sure you build your talent if you are home now. But I know condemn school is your choice to go, but your talent is very, very important. Thank you. So, thank so this is the main reason they've been trending online so me my own opinion on this matter on this matter trending is that fine it is okay not for you to say you do not want to go to school like it is not compulsory not everybody wants let's be honest right let's be honest not everybody wants to go to school some people they want to go to school but they do not have they do not have the opportunity while others they do not want to go to school see they just do not want to go to school and i believe onimu in this case she's among the people that do not want to go to school maybe i don't know maybe because she is not bright or she doesn't like studying or i don't really know but the issue here i think the main reason why people are having issue why people are not okay with a decision is the reason she gave that applies to me also the reason i'm not having this i do not want to go to school because the holy spirit said i should not go to school that got me confused why would the holy spirit tell you not to go to school she said something like oh because she might cry in school there are a lot of bad things there yada 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 and all that see the reason is not valid to me the reason only Mu and her mother gave for her not wanting to go to school, for her rejecting Funke's, um, Funke's offer of sponsoring her in school is not valid at all. How would you say I am rejecting it because uh, the Holy Spirit said I should not go to school? They should have come, come up with some better uh, um, excuses or something, but not you saying the Holy Spirit said you should not go to school doesn't mean the holy spirit does not want something good for her because definitely going to school is a good thing it's like an achievement it is good you all the mother and daughter went ahead to make another post and they posted it on their page again which says why i don't regret not completing school after they made a live video they made a a, a long video more than six minutes plus then they came up with this short video again in summary why i don't regret not completing school it says firstly i was instructed by the holy spirit not pastor or mom yes at first it's because of some circumstances and thank god i faced it i don't know what would have happened i'm a believer of christ so it's easy to acquire the holy spirit and i appreciate god for giving me a good mom for teaching me god's ways and i will not go against my creator the creator of heaven and earth school doesn't guarantee success only god does a lot of graduates are jobless riding okada begging for money pos get them job first a lot of billionaires didn't go to school yet graduate still bars for them yes it is true they later learn english and that is because the word communicates with that not because it brings sources school doesn't give knowledge god did solomon didn't go to school he's still the wisest on earth and no more english is not my language so i care less i know you can't communicate with the world now without english and yes i can improve my vocal without going to school textbooks are always available or interpreter if needed certificate school or whatever won't save me from danger only god can all I need is kingdom of God and money, and I will have that without certificates. Jesus didn't go to school. He went to the synagogue to study the words of God, and I'm okay with that. Read your Bible if you disagree. If you gain wisdom from school, fine. I gain mine from God. 
I'm not condemning English or school, but don't feel useless if you weren't able to complete your education. Focus on your talent and pray to God. Obey all his commandments. Trust him. You will make it. Romans 8 verse 31. Mark 11 verse 22 to 23. And don't condemn who can't complete their education. Correct who go against the Lord's commandments. Heaven is real. Bible is the only way and truth. So guys, that is the post they made again. They gave a lot of reasons you or you've watched the video. They gave a lot of reasons why she does why why the Holy Spirit said she should not go to school. But they just like they were just specific on the Holy Spirit said, the Holy Spirit said, the Holy Spirit said. Everything they said on that video is just the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit directed them and everything. So this got people talking, saying, oh, why would you say the Holy Spirit doesn't want something good for you? And in the video, the mother made mention, she mentioned that she went to school. You all, the mother mentioned in the video, I believe you heard it when the mother said, she went to school, but look at where she is today she said i didn't mean she did not go to school she 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 would have done better for herself at that point i was confused does it mean obviously from that from what the mother said she is the one telling the child not to go to school in my opinion because she's saying she went to school but look at where she is today. School did not take her to anywhere. School did not make her any better that she would have done well, so well for herself, if not for her wasting all those years in school. From what she said, it was so clear that she is the one telling the child not to go to school because school did not favor her. Did not, doesn't mean that it will not favor the child. Do you get? But now she's not even saying all that. She's saying that the Holy Spirit ministered to her daughter and told her not to go to school, you guys. Hey. I was so confused. I was so confused. They are not saying the truth. I believe they have other reasons why she, the, the, the lady herself, the young lady herself, only moon, she has other reasons why she doesn't want to go to school. The mother also has other reasons why she doesn't want her daughter to go to school, but they are just putting it on the Holy Spirit's head, saying the Holy Spirit ministered, the Holy Spirit this, the Holy Spirit revealed, told her, and everything. Because the mother speaks very well, like she speaks so well, and according to her, she went to school. But it did not favor her. It did not go well for her after the school. So she doesn't want her daughter to go to school. That going to school does not guarantee you being successful and all that. Then the lady went ahead to talk about having your own talent. That it is not a must for you to go to school. Which I agree with her. Yeah, it is not a must. Even if you do not go to, even if you do not go to school, you should acquire some kind of skills and everything that is what she was trying to say in that video right but their reason is not just valid you all someone literally not just anybody a celebrity a well-known celebrity in the country in nigeria offered you like free education she offered to sponsor your education she offered to sponsor your education and she refused just like that she refused it's just it's just like a scholarship she refused that is why at the starting of this video i said maybe because she's not brilliant like she doesn't like studying she's not that bright yeah she's afraid of failing like not doing well in school and everything but you saying the holy spirit he just made it in sound summer and they've been trending some people are some people are on their side but majority of the people they are not supporting that a reason of saying the holy spirit minister to her and told her not to go to school and they are not see they are not backing down they still stand on the holy spirit the mother and daughter they still stand on the holy spirit on them saying the holy spirit minister to them told them not to go to school 
And if you even go to their page, the mother, she always wear white. She's always wearing white. She said the Holy Spirit told her to only wear white. So it seems like the Holy Spirit is always talking to that family, is always ministering to that family. And she's not the only child of the mother, yes, yeah? she's not the only child, but I think she is the last child of the mother, like the last born of the mother, but she's not the only child. And they've been trading. They've been trending online. And before this school issue, this um, uh, education issue and everything, they always receive gifts online. People are always sending them gifts, like sending them items and everything, gifting them and all that. But within a day, if you go on their comment section, the videos they've posted within, after the live session with Funke, the comment session, guys, is just something else. The comment session is something else. People are dragging them seriously in their comment session. And we all know how these online bullies are, right? They can go as far as wanting to hurt you. Some people are literally laying courses on them. They are causing them in the comment session, which I don't think that is fair at all. Even though their reason is not valid, I don't see any reason why some people are in their comment sessions, in their comment sessions, trying to bully them, saying that, see, guys, they are already saying bad things about the mother. The mother is obsessed with the child. She doesn't want the child to separate from her. She, 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 uh, they don't think the child will be able to marry with this attitude the mother is putting on. She doesn't want the child to leave her, yada, 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 and everything. They, they are just in the comment section saying really horrible things about the people, mother and daughter. They are in the comment section saying really, really bad things about them just to hurt them. That is it. So that is just the story of how this mother and daughter Onimu and Momo have been trending online. How they rejected Funke's offer to sponsor the child's education and everything. That's just it. So please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also like this video, comment, and share.